And now it's time for the final of the big boys. Pole position for Ludwig Hunsbett in the Volvo S40. Kenneth Hansen, the reigning champ, is there. Michael Jernberg, the informed man and championship leader. And also there, Smirud, Henning Solberg and Stig Olaf Valfredsen. In the yellow, number eight, Renault Clio MK3 T16 four-wheel drive as they get away and it is Ludwig Hunsbert into the first bend in front but a real problem for Michael Jornberg well that's disaster for the championship leader who's won his last two rounds in Hungary and Austria and there's plenty of contact there as well Hunsbert and Hansen the reigning champ oh big contact Hansen onto the grass he manages to get it back together this is going to be spectacular as they come around here and then up for the rise my word Hunsbett that was sensational Jornberg down the outside Hunsbett back up the inside and Valfredson is there as well well he started from the back of the grid Valfredson after qualifying through the B final and Kenneth Hansen deciding that that was all too close to comfort decides to take his joker lap and preserve perhaps man and machine Hunsbett again pushing it to the very limit what a drive this is from Stig Olive Valfredson getting the power down around that left hand up Hunsbett holding him at bay for the moment Well, the thing's going to settle down here a little bit. That first and second lap were absolutely heart-in-mouth stuff. Valfredson, he closes up again on Hunsbett. Down under brakes. It's very rough as well. The car's taking the curb on the inside there. Screeching tyres as they come around the left-hander through the forest. And unbelievably, it's down under brakes after this jump. That's turning out to be one of the best overtaking places. And the final bend, the final left-hander before they come across to take the start-finish line for the penultimate time. And Valfredson really has the pressure on. And amazingly, Ludwig Hunsbett has decided to come in and take his joker lap. And he's made a bit of a meal of it as well, I'd say. He's lost two places. Three places. He came in in the lead and there, well, his door's flinging open. Well, how dangerous is that? How did he get that? How did he make that stick? Flying up the inside of Henning Solberg. Solberg trying to reply in kind. My word, has he managed to get his door shut? Hunsbett hanging out. And surely Valfredson has this one in the bag now. And unbelievable considering he started from last on the grid. Well, this was the most remarkable round here in Sweden. Valfredson comes out and comes out in front as well. Brilliant stuff. It's Smerud. In second place, but can he keep Hunsbett at bay? Kjell Arne Smorud in the Citroën is in second. But it's Valfredsen who came through the B final. Hunsbett just forces his way past Smorud. The final bend. Hunsbett, he won't get close enough to Valfredsen. Stigol of Valfredsen registers his first ever European Rallycross victory and it comes on home soil round six in Sweden and look at that is there a happier man in Sweden this weekend well I doubt it Valfredsen has won the round Hunsbett the destroyer we'll call him from now on has to settle for second. Smurred a great third place. Henning Solberg as well. A great result for him in fourth. 
And here we're going to hear from the man himself. Your first, uh, first victory. How yeah. does it? Yeah. How does this feel? Ah, it's incredible. Describe it. Incredible. It's a, a dream I have. When I start, start on Friday, I said that if it could be winner here, that's what would be very good for me and a dream for me. Absolute congratulations. Well, it was an amazing weekend for the Swedes who walk away with the victory and the top spot. And join us again for the next round of the European Rallycross. Bye for now.